I came out here tonight to look at the moon with these cool binoculars specifically made for viewing the moon, but I can't find it anywhere. It's gone. How can this be possible? Where did it go? Let's find out together in this episode all about the phases of the moon. The moon appears to change shape a little bit every night. To understand why this happens, we need to look at the way that the Earth and the Moon move together through space. The Moon orbits around the Earth, much like the Earth orbits the Sun. However, while the Earth takes one year to travel once around the Sun, or 365 days, the Moon completes its orbit around the Earth in only about one month, or 29 and a half days. Even though the Moon sometimes looks super bright in the night sky, it doesn't have any light of its own. It only appears to shine brightly because light from the sun hits and bounces off of it. The phase of the moon refers to what shape the moon appears to us, how much of it we see illuminated from Earth. The line here dividing the lit day side from the unlit night side is called the terminator. As the moon travels around the Earth, the terminator is visible from different angles, giving the impression that different amounts of the moon are lit up on different nights. This is just our perspective standing here on Earth looking up at the moon. Let's see if we can recreate this perspective to help us better understand. For this to work, we are going to need a sun, moon, and Earth. This bright light right here will be our sun, and this sphere will be the moon, and we are going to be the Earth. This will keep our perspective the same. If you're facing the moon with the sun behind you, you're seeing the half of the moon that is fully illuminated or lit up by sunlight, so it looks full. If you're off to the side, you see half of the lit side and half of the dark side, and we would say that the moon is half full. But this phase is actually called first or third quarter. We'll get back to that. If the sun is on the other side of the moon, you're looking at the unlit half, so it looks dark. The biggest thing that we need to remember is that the moon is always half lit and half dark at all times, even when it doesn't look that way to us. The phase of the moon that we see depends on the position of the moon and its rotation and the angle we see from Earth. If you're still here liking this video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. The cycle of lunar phases begins with the new moon. At new moon, the moon appears completely dark because the unlit side is facing the Earth. The other side, the far side of the moon, is lit, but we just can't see it. New moon happens when the sun, moon, and the Earth are all basically in a line. A new moon is the only time in the lunar cycle that we could see a solar eclipse because it's the only time that the moon is between the sun and the earth. I know the issue. It was my thinking that the moon is only up at night, but it's up during the day just as often. At new moon, the moon stays near the sun, so it rises at sunrise and sets at sunset. I bet the moon is in new moon phase today and it's just hiding from me. I'll be back out in a few days, once the moon has moved a little in its orbit, when we can see a little more of the moon's illuminated side from Earth. What we will then see is just a thin slice of light called a crescent. Since it's getting thicker, we say that this is a waxing crescent moon. Waxing means growing or getting bigger. It's also a good bit away from the sun now, which makes it easier to spot, even during the day before sunset. The crescent moon will grow a little bit more every night until it reaches the next phase, first quarter. It's now 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky, which means we are staring directly at the terminator. Remember the moon's day-night line or illuminated dark line? We saw this earlier when my noggin was the Earth. The moon looks half illuminated. But it's called first quarter because the moon is one quarter of the way through its cycle. Now that we are becoming experts, this name should make total sense to us. As more days pass, the illuminated part of the moon comes more into view, soon entering its next phase, the waxing gibbous. Gibbous means swollen or humped, and waxing because it looks to be growing every night until it reaches the next phase, the full moon. A full moon is definitely the biggest, brightest, and easiest phase of the moon to see. The moon rises at sunset and is up all night. So it's a pretty impressive sight to behold. The moon is now halfway through its orbit around the Earth. It is now opposite the sun in the sky, 180 degrees around. 
A lunar eclipse can only happen during this phase because it's the only time that the Earth's shadow could fall on the moon. As the moon continues on its path, it appears to shrink again as we begin to see more and more of its dark side. Now we are about to go through all of the phases again, but in reverse order. A few days after the full moon, we will see a gibbous moon again, but this time it's a waning gibbous. Waning means shrinking or getting smaller. The moon will be waning for the rest of its orbit. The next phase looks like another half moon, but this time it's called third quarter because the moon is three quarters of the way through its orbit. Soon the half moon appears to shrink into a waning crescent, which will continue to shrink night after night until it vanishes completely into the next new moon. We made it, a complete lunar cycle. Now that you're experts, go see if you can spot the moon and which phase it's in. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next. Is that the Big Dipper?